Sir, Viscount Phlegathon has sent an urgent appeal to reinforce the front lines on the Great Bridge. Acheron again? How many times does that make it today? Only the fourth. He sent eight requests yesterday. I'll call that an improvement then. Thanks. Just tell him, message received, keep your chin up, and good luck out there. Yes, sir. Doesn't sound like things are going so good. We'll be able to hold the bridge, right? I wish I could say for sure, but I honestly have no idea. While we've been taking our sweet time getting situated, the enemy's been strengthening their position. Claude, we are nearing the breaking point. My father has sent an urgent request for reinforcements. Oh boy. Things must be getting really dire if Count Gloucester has sent word as well. Then surely it's time for us to depart. We just need to protect the bridge, right? Yes. If it falls into the Empire's hands, there'll be no keeping the war out of Alliance territory. I'd hate to see innocent towns and villages getting caught in the fighting. With the way things are going, though, I think we should be ready to abandon the bridge if necessary. If we go in determined to hold it at any cost, we could end up sacrificing a lot of lives in a battle we have no hope of winning. If worse comes to worse, it'll be up to us to evacuate as many of our soldiers as we can. The war with the Empire won't end with the coming battle, so I want to keep our losses to the absolute minimum. If the Great Bridge of Marden falls, then Garag Mok will be in jeopardy too. That's true. And since Edelgard is set on toppling the Central Church, it probably won't end well for them. What are you going to do, Shamir? Will you return to aid the monastery? No. I have repaid my debt to Rhea. I no longer have any ties to the Knights of Saros. All right. Then let's adjourn this war council and get moving. Yeah! Let's do this! For the sake of the Alliance, don't hold anything back. I'm counting on each and every one of you. This will go well. I'll provide backup. Oh, I better back him up. You can count on me. I'll do my best. I've got it. I'll follow your lead. Now it is my turn. I will show you what I am made of. We might have to abandon the bridge after all. Either way, we can't afford to lose Count Gloucester. We me. have to secure an escape route and rescue him. And that's not going to be easy. We'll have to take the surrounding strongholds first. Let's take it down at once.
I had hoped to achieve victory without bloodshed. It took you this long to arrive? Not that I expected much from our fraud of a leader. Yeah, sorry about that. We're here now at any rate. Hi, well done. I can take it from here. Go forth and continue your assault. I would not trust that fickle weather thing. He's liable to betray us with the slightest breeze. Fool! Stand your ground! We've got an escape route now, yeah? Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry. Take a breather. situation is dire. Please cover my soldiers as they escape. Now seems like an opportune time to curry favor with the Empire. Troops, we are defecting. Move out. Looks like Lester's weather vane can't sense the prevailing wind after all. Don't hesitate to take them out. Time to show how strong you've become. We've got no choice but to abandon the bridge. Count Gloucester, order a retreat. I shall bring up the rear and draw the enemy away. All troops withdraw from the bridge post haste. This isn't our last battle by a long shot, so we can't afford to lose any more troops. Guard them as they retreat. Follow my lead. We'll do it together! I've got you now! I should have never thought the Empire my ally. I turn at last. Don't let them get away! I want as few casualties as possible. We could have the support squad protect the retreating troops.
Don't worry, I won't slack off. Stand your ground. Sorry, but I'm not letting anyone escape. Get in my way and I'll knock you flat. Caspar, is that you? No way am I gonna let you stop him. Disposed of one problem. It's safe to retreat now. I owe you one. You got my back? As you wish. generals in pursuit and withdraw once everything is secure yeah they're not gonna let us just waltz out of here target the enemy as soon as they pop their heads out I can't give up now maybe i should stop them. always be prepared Died if you kept fighting. You need to pay closer attention to what's going on around you. Uh, I guess we probably shouldn't let them escape. Shall I open the gate to draw them in? Stop, Linhart! Don't go off by yourself! Take a breather. It's too hurt! If there's one thing Linhart hates, it's a pointless fight. We might be able to convince him to surrender.
Not a problem. I've got this. I turn you now. much choice, do I? Sometimes you have to fight even when it's a pain. Has the Valley of Torment frozen over? I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. dead if you keep going, right? So just surrender already. You could have said as much before you beat me up. You're all cruel, you know that? But fine. You were never the type to fight to the death anyway. If anything, I'm relieved. General left? Then let's take care of him before reinforcements arrive. If we can spare the effort, wouldn't it be preferable to take out all the nearby strongholds? Yeah! <laughs> 
them chasing after us. Let's get a move on and retreat before... What's that? You appear to be outmatched, Kaspar. Allow me to show you all the full might of the Empire. Reinforcements have already arrived. I'm all right. Then I have no other option. House Gloucester hereby swears fealty to the Empire. Cease fighting and throw down your weapons. Further resistance is futile. What? Fall back! We need to get out of here! Claude, what is the meaning of this? Father! Why are you surrendering to... Father! Claude! What is the meaning of this? Has the Alliance forsaken my father? Far from it, Lawrence. Just calm down and we'll talk this through. How am I to remain calm at a time like this? The noble House Gloucester has been relinquished to Imperial control! Considering his position, I'm sure Count Gloucester anticipated this possibility and has already laid the groundwork to switch sides. I doubt the Empire will lay a finger on your father. So you've been thinking Count Gloucester might surrender all along? The Count's greatest concern has always been keeping the people of his territory from getting swept up in the war. It only stands to reason that he'd prefer a noble surrender to a lengthy, bitter resistance. I expect House Ordelia will follow suit and pledge fealty to the Empire. Um, Lawrence? Shouldn't we be returning to the Count? If we go back to House Gloucester, we will no longer be able to fight for the Alliance. Is that what you desire? Uh, no, of course not. Far from it. I intend to remain with the Alliance army as well. Assuming that's alright with you, Claude? I wouldn't have it any other way. This war has only just begun, after all. Since we've lost the bridge, the Imperial Army will soon descend upon Leicester itself. We can't allow them to run rampant over our land. It's time to redraw the battle lines. Everyone here? Well, let's get right into it. We have to figure out exactly where we stand in this war. As you all know, the Empire has taken the Great Bridge of Murden. The Imperial Army now occupies what was formerly House Phlegathon territory. House Gloucester has surrendered to them as well. Doubtless an agonizing decision on my father's part. House Ordelia, to the east of the bridge, has also vowed not to take up arms against the Empire. We had precious little in the way of arms in the first place. You have my deepest apologies. You don't have to apologize, Lysithia. Count Ordelia did what anyone would have done. And now Lawrence and Lysithia can't even go back home! That's not all. After the battle, the Imperial Army crossed Gloucester territory and attacked Garrig Mach. 
Rhea and the rest of the Central Church have apparently fled to the kingdom for sanctuary. Then I suppose none of us will be able to visit our old school anytime soon. I hope no one from the church was hurt. There's no point in worrying about it now, but they're all tougher than you think. Now that the monastery has fallen, the front lines are rapidly expanding north. It won't be long before Deirdre is within their reach. And if our capital falls, the Alliance goes with it. We have to stop them there, no matter the cost. That all sounds well and good, but how large of an army will you even be able to raise at this point? I don't think House Edmund will be able to send more troops. I'm sorry. Which means House Goneril is the last of the five great lords upon whom we can rely. I'm not so sure the combined forces of Houses Regan and Goneril will be enough to hold off the whole Empire. We'll just have to work with what we've got. And let's not forget the hero of Daphnil. Uh, who? He speaks of Judith, the head of House Daphnil. She was once counted among the five great lords. We can definitely count on her. It helps that she seems to really like Claude for some reason. But we can't expect much from her in terms of sheer numbers. Any chance the kingdom could send troops? I doubt they'll have any to spare. They've just started engaging the Empire themselves over in the west of Fargus. And besides, I'm not sure how much we can really trust them. I still have no idea what's going on in Dimitri's head. Well, we have an idea of how big our army's gonna be, if nothing else. What's the plan? I'm still working that out. For now, all we can do is hold our ground and fight with everything we've got. You can always count on me. And my muscles. Thanks, Raphael. That unfounded confidence of yours is like music to my ears. Lady Rhea, Seneth, I'm relieved you both made it out unharmed. It appears we arrived just in time. You have our utmost thanks for aiding in our retreat, Your Majesty. I can only apologize for the trouble we may have caused your outfit. King Dimitri, I cannot express just how grateful I am to you and all the fine people of Fargus. The honor is mine. Your order provided me with immeasurable aid during my ascension to the throne. My citizens would have branded me a heathen had I not returned the favor. And now it seems we are the ones who owe a debt. The Church shall provide whatever assistance it can to your efforts. If you see it prudent, I have no objection to placing the Knights of our Order under Kingdom command. Thank you both. While it pains me to qualify our hospitality, this Kingdom is not a wealthy one, neither in goods nor provisions. I fear we may struggle to compensate your soldiers, or even to feed them. You needn't trouble yourself with such concerns. Your generous offer of shelter will be more than enough. Very well. We've lingered here long enough. Let us make for Ferdiad. There's much to discuss. The church, the kingdom, and the battles to come. It seems the Leicester campaign is proceeding smoothly. Indeed. Count Gloucester's timely surrender allowed us to advance with minimal casualties. Ferdinand's battalion is tightening the noose around House Regan's territory as we speak. The Minister of Military Affairs is making the necessary preparations to move his forces into the Alliance as well. Once Count Burgleys takes the field, we won't have anything to worry about on that front. Yes. And at the moment, we have little choice but to divert most of our military might to our conflict with Fargus on the Western Front. I fear Count Rose's abrupt change in allegiance will have only served to further provoke the Kingdom's army. Ah, uh, yes. Him. He disregarded our timetable and launched an attack on the Kingdom without our approval. And in doing so, has done nothing but make trouble for the Empire. Still, we can hardly afford to abandon him. We have led our vassals to believe the Empire will always come to their aid. What a troublesome policy that has turned out to be. The policy may be irksome, but we will not fail to honor it. Dispatch immediate reinforcements to Count Ro. Understood. And what message shall I send to Count Burglis? I'm still a little wary of the Alliance's plans, but tell him we leave matters in his capable hands. 